Hi there, welcome back to The Lisa Nichols Show, where I share the tools that you desire, that I desire, that we both desire, to live the life that we want, to create the memories that we deserve to have. You know, I love reading your comments. When you comment, it does everything to this YouTube channel. This is why we're so connected. This is why relationships are being built, because we're actually in a dialogue. From the episode, how to develop your willpower. I love this. So Minimalist Vegan Lifestyle wrote, quote, put away willpower, pick up choice. Jeez, that hit me. And I love jeez, J-E-E-Z. Jeez, that hit me. The whole conversation hit me. I have agoraphobia, which means the fear of having panic attacks. So you avoid everything that gives you anxiety, right? So you can imagine how important it was that I found this channel. Much love. Oh, much love to you. Stay connected, stay informed, and most importantly, stay empowered. Now, from the episode, How to Apply Intuition to Your Business, Kimberly writes, I love this, Kimberly. Kimberly Wilson writes, B-O-L, explanation point, explanation point, wow, explanation point, I started crying in the middle of this video. Quote, what do you want your legacy to be? <sighs> then build your life toward that? She goes on to say, I had never thought of it that way. What a brilliant perspective. I love your comments. I love your comments. I love you giving me feedback, you telling me what it did for you. When you tell me in the middle of a video I started crying or, oh my God, this is exactly what I need or this is helping me manage my anxiety, that's fuel for my soul and I hope that it's fuel for yours. I love your comments. Keep them coming. So you know, when someone feels like they're in a rut, when you feel like you're in a rut, it's not enough to say I'm stuck or I'm in a rut because those are generalities. Get very detailed. Are you in a rut in your relationship? Are you in a rut in your health? Are you in a rut in your finances? Are you in a rut in your work life? Are you in a rut D, all of the above? Even if it's D, all of the above, it's still four different areas. A lot of times when we're broad, we lose the power of the laser focus clarity of where to take action. So I want you to move away from being broad. So number one, where are you in a rut at? What area in your life? What makes it stuck? What makes it not working? What, what, why is it not working? Identify where do you wanna be, and this is really important. One, identify where you wanna be in that particular area. Okay, so I'll, let me back up. Number one is what area you're in a rut in. Number two is where do you wanna be in that area? Where are you in that area? And what's the distance between the two? So I'm in a rut in my relationship with my significant other. Okay, so now we know it's relationship. Now, where do you want it to be? I wanna communicate more effectively. I wanna have better connection. I wanna make love more often. I want to not fight as much. Okay, great, where is it now? Right now, we, um, we can't talk to each other. Um, we make love once a month and we're always disconnected. Okay, great, what's the distance between the two? Well, the distance between the two, what would take you from where you are to where you wanna be? From a powerful standpoint, not a powerless standpoint. So don't worry about the other person. What can you do? Well, I can own my breakdowns a little more. I can begin to make the list of the distance between where you are and where you, where you wanna be and where you are. Make the distance, what's the distance? This is, that's the tunnel, that's the, the adjustment in every area, finances. My bank account's always in negative. Okay, great, where do you want it to be? I want it to be plus 200 at the end of each month. Okay, great, what's the distance between the two? A few Starbucks visits, going out to dinner less, buying bulk. I mean, if you think about it, that literally there is a hallway for adjustment for everything. But first you have to laser, what area in your life are you stuck on? And where do you wanna be there? Where are you now? That's the part people mostly don't want to look at is where am I, really where am I? And the behaviors, you're not a victim in your life, you're in the driver's seat of your life. That's the hard news and that's the exciting news is that you are in the driver's seat. You're in the driver's seat when you drive into a wall, boom. You're in the driver's seat when you back up and you get clear space as well. And so 
In that, what are the three action steps you can take immediately to see small progress? Small progress, not to change it all, not to transform it, but to get small progress. What's the needle point move? I always look for the needle point move in my life. I don't need the massive 180 degree change. I need the needle point move because when I see a needle point move, then I go, okay, movement. And now I go for another needle point move. Mindset. How do you change mindset to even get there? You can only get yourself as far as you've gotten yourself based on what you know. Are you willing to entertain the idea that in order to go further, you need to know more? I think it's very arrogant and ego driven when we, and I say we because I do it at times as well, I want to change my life, but I don't want to know anything new. I want to change my life. I want to transform my relationship. I want to transform my health based on what I know. You kind of took yourself as far as you can take yourself based on what you know. And when people ask me, how did you change your life? I said, I didn't change my life first. I changed my mindset first. And when my mindset changed, when your mindset changes, your life has to follow. Get this. When your mindset changes, your life has to follow. The other side to that is people try to change their lifestyle, change their, who they're dating, change where they live, change where they work, but they have the same mindset. And then you find yourself slingshotting back to the old behaviors again because until your mindset is changed, everything else will stay the same. So how do you change your mindset? Well, let's just say I've taken myself as far as I can take myself by myself. That's one of the most powerful things that you can say and know. And most people think that it's surrendering that they don't have something. Let me just tell you, the smartest people on the planet keep a coach in their life the smartest people on the planet, the people that are producing the most, they keep someone in their life constantly telling them what they don't know. Now, they don't have to be formally in your life as a personal coach. They don't have to be a personal person in your life. They can be right here on YouTube, me, someone else, a book. So I want you to pick up a piece of content, whether it's online, whether it's live, go to something around that area in your life that you are currently stuck in that you're currently, go laser on it. Energy grows where energy goes. You wanna grow in that area, if it's finances, start studying money, study money. It's not gonna naturally get better based on what you know. What you know got you here. If it's relationships, you're not, you're not admitting to being poor in relationships because you study relationship books. You're committing to be the best in relationships when you study a relationship book, when you go to a relationship workshop. When you study that area, it has to evolve because when you know more, you'll do more. So I say, number one, identify where you want to be, identify where you are, and then take radical action in that laser area. Because stuck and in a rut is actually a choice as well. It's actually saying, I'm going to opt out and hope like hell it all gets better. And the reality is energy grows where energy goes. You are the designer of your destiny design a better story, design a powerful story, design, write, be the author of your autobiography, write the story the way you want it to be. Who cares what chapter four look like? You're now writing chapter 24, write a good chapter. Remember, this show is not just a monologue. I'm gonna say it a thousand times. It's a dialogue. I love to hear from you. You are the vibration, you are the energy of this conversation. We're here, I'm here, this entire environment is here for you because of you. So let's make sure that we have a dialogue going. What lesson did you learn? What was your aha? What was your BOL from this conversation about moving out of being stuck, moving out of a rut? What can you do? What step are you willing to do right now to move forward in a way that you didn't even think that you were ready to do? Leave me a comment. Let me know. And most importantly, if you're not already subscribing to this channel, what are you waiting on? You know we are family. Look out for great content. I'm constantly committed to bringing you the conversations and the insights that you're looking for. And I can't wait for you to join us. I will always let you know that I'm your sister in prosperity and in possibility. And when I say that I believe in you, and when I say I love you, it's simply because I do.